Good morning, everyone. Hope everybody had a great evening, afternoon yesterday. Um, I just wanted to get on here and make a short little video and continue reading the book, Who's Looking at You by Stephanie Fertini. Um, our focus is to read for information. This is an informational text, nonfiction. It's going to tell us real facts about things. And we are going to use, once again, the five finger fact sheet. And what I thought we could do to recycle um, some paper that I had lying around, um, we'll make our own. So we don't even need one of those worksheets to do this type of gra graphic organizer. And you can use this whenever you're reading for information to help you organize it. Okay. So what I did is I just used the back of the sheet that we worked on yesterday and I flipped it over and I made my own five finger fact worksheet and I put the date on here sorry about my sloppy handwriting um, but I put the date on here so when we come back to school you can bring it back and show me the day that you worked on a five finger fact worksheet um, so I just traced my own hand and I continued writing fact numbers six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, because we're just gonna add to what we already learned yesterday um, with the new animals that we learn about. And don't forget to put the title of the book and the author in the middle, okay? So on that note, let's start reading. So, so far we've learned about a gorilla, a parrot, a snail, and a cat. And the last animal we learned about yesterday was a horse. So now we're on this page. What kind of animal do you think this is? Let's find out. Did you guess a sea turtle? This amazing, this animal is crying, but it's not sad. Sea turtles shed tears when they leave the water. Crying helps them get rid of extra salt in their body. Tears also help to keep sand out of a mother turtle's eyes when she digs a nest on the beach to lay her eggs. Here's our next picture. What kind of animal do these eyes belong to? Find out. It's a dragonfly. These eyes belong to the fastest insect. Thousands of little sensors join together to form a dragonfly's eyes. Thanks to its compound eyes, the dragonfly can see above, below, to the sides, and even behind itself. These eyes come in handy for catching flies and mosquitoes in mid-flight. Did you know that they were the fastest insect? I didn't, I learned that today. What about this eye? What animal does this eye belong to? Find out. Cuttlefish. Did you guess cuttlefish? I certainly didn't. This amazing eye is shaped like a W. Although a cuttlefish cannot see in full color, it can change its color like a chameleon. By changing its color to hide, the cuttlefish can sneak up on fish. Then, the cuttlefish reaches out to grab its prey with its long tentacles. Okay. Look at these eyes. Let's do this one. What kind of animal do you think this is? Did you guess lion? This animal spends a lot of time with its eyes shut while it naps under a tree. Just like a house cat, a lion's eyes will change to fit its environment. 
In the strong African sun, the pupil of the lion's eye will shrink to a tiny dot. The pupil will enlarge to let in more light when the lion goes out at night to hunt. Okay. What about this animal on this side? What kind of animal do you think this is? Did you guess a wolf? These eyes shine bright in the dark. Wolves have very good night vision. They use their special eyes to track small movements in animals. This helps wolves hunt at night. Wolf. And this one is the last one that we're going to do. So now I'm going to go back and get my five finger fact chart. And I'm going to start filling it in. So number six of our five finger facts is sea turtle tears keep sand out of their eyes. Fact number seven, dragonflies are the fastest insects. Fact eight, cuttlefish can't see in full color. Fact nine, lions sleep a lot during the day and hunt at night. And finally, fact 10, wolves. Wolves have good night vision. Those are the facts that I wrote down. So now what I'm going to do is, so you can look at the sentences that I wrote, I made a bigger version of those facts. So then you can pause the video and read the sentences, sentences that I wrote, and you are free to use the ones that I decided I like the most, or you can write down the fact that you like the most. Remember when we're writing our notes and writing in complete sentences, the beginning of the sentence has a capital letter and the end of the sentence has a period. So here are the sentences I chose to wrote, write Mommy, for my five finger facts. And then here's my daughter, Maggie. She came in and she wanted to say hi, everybody. Can you say hi? Hi. This little girl's gonna be four years old next week, so we're pretty excited to have be having a birthday to plan soon. So, anyways, can you say hi? Hi. So, have a great day, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video, and we will try and finish up this book tomorrow. I think yeah. there's five more animals we're gonna we're going to be reading about. Bye.